testing. Okay, I turned my mic off because I was watching. Because I'd like to have my mic turned off. Let me watch the uh, good stuff. I'm going to be. I'm working on my map. I haven't worked on this for a few days now. Since uh, the 14th, it's currently the 16th. Uh, GM Cathedral V2. It's there wasn't there wasn't a V1. However, I did on the map that I stopped working on before it got released. There, I was planning on having a cathedral, so I feel like that this is fitting. The cathedral is kind of finished. It's pretty decent, I think. Also, this texture actually makes... It's also, I love this texture. It is. It actually looks really well for the cathedrals and stuff. That plaster slash plaster ceiling. Uh, 003A. And this glass texture is bussing as frick. Glass slash glass window. 070C. Ah, uh, that's because I was bored. I don't know why I did. There was a house I added, um, at one point. I don't know why I added it, but let's see if I can expand it to... Okay, so that's right there. I will be doing this. Actually, I think it would be nice if this went forward a bit. So this map is also, by the way, this map's meant to be a, uh, meant to be in the same, uh, sub-genre of sandbox maps as, uh, 7-Eleven. You have, you, and you know what I mean by, like, 7, like, they're, like, you know how there's, like, a lot of Construct clones in some, in quite a bit, quite a bit of a time? There's also in some, there's also sometimes you'll find a, quite a bit of, uh, there's also in some cases you'll find quite a few, uh, you can, there's also, I think, of quite a few 7-Eleven clones where, like, it's it's like it's similar to a construct clone, but it's based around one building with, whereas one building in the middle, which is like where the namesake. I think there was a Popeyes or KFC one or something like that. One point. Um. Okay. Noted. Alright. <laughs> I'm not sure how, I'm not, and I'm, I'm being honest, I have no clue how this would turn out. No, no, I want a second, I don't want to have a second floor. So I'm going to, uh, grab you.
Just let you know, guys, I am not the best at mapping. I, only, I also just realized it appears I am... Oh, no, 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 I'm at the right, I'm at the right thing. I guess I just built this at a slightly bigger scale, but I realized that's strange. Um... Yes, there's a floor texture for these pillar things. Don't judge me. Uh, so I just want this to be an excellent place for a door, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put a door there. I'm gonna be completely honest, and so back when I, uh, I remember at one point when I was work, uh, well, back in my, back in the earlier days of me mapping, when I at, when, where I was, uh, I think around the same skill level I am now. I lost some over a bit of time. Um, GM a Tower of Babel is a great example of that. You can kind of tell, I guess. I tell a bit. I think I'll place a door. Um, here would be nice, I guess. Um, but I am going to start it. I'm going to save. I want this to be like a kind of a nice property and <laughs> also I'm not using that hollow technique I did do this what I did here is I actually uh for the skybox in the surrounding area, because I think if I remember correctly, if you, you if you try to clip the sides of a brush that's been hollowed out and you put and you put your map in, I think that really gets very fucky wucky. So I did not do that this time. All right, I think I will place a prop door rotating. I'm gonna keep it the theme of this area where the doors are actually um not indented. No, they're not. They uh, go to the out. They go to the. They go outwards a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do what I always do when I add a door. I'm going to first um, prop door rotating. I'm going to be doing using the same type of door I've used. Am I? I don't know. I think I might use one. Of, I think my favorite is my favorite in general is. Um, I like I kind of like skin one, but I also like skin two because I think it's a bit fancier. Skin one I think is good for I'm pretty sure it was good for like shitty shacks, but uh, but so is three. Um, this is like a school texture, like for factories, underground areas, I guess. I never see this one used. Who the fuck uses that? I think this one's used some some very little. I think this one. I mean, I think this one's the most common. Oh, oops, I don't know. I'm gonna use... Huh? I have no idea how that happened. But I'm going to use... Uh, door... Where's the other? Oh yeah, um, so I'm gonna use skin 2. Instead. I, something I like to do is I like to make sure that none of the uh, things that, that could usually be interacted with a physics gun on my map can be interacted with a physics gun. It just sort of, it. I'm the type of person who does not, it just annoys me. If I find it irritating, in a weird, for some reason. I don't know why. Bam. I'm I'm not sure what interior texture I'm gonna use. 
but I because of course this being a the interior of a house usually you want to generally for a lot of the stuff you want to use plaster textures because it, uh, I think some like uh, I'm also going to use a different ceiling than I was for the other places because of the fact that this is one big brush right here it's a bit different do that and I might use something different for the uh, ceiling here I'm not sure Door okay, for some reason it looks it look kind of off, but appears to be not. And that's good. That's good. Uh, okay, I'm still doing the thingy thing. This one is very common. These this uh, wood paneling. It's stupidly common. I think there are a few that are like a bit underrated. I might actually use this one. I mean, this one is too. These these are too torn up. This. How does that look? Bottom. Nope, I don't like that. Huh. This is a bit different. You know what it is? It's horrendous. Actually, let me see. Oh, that line. Ugh, disgusting. Why are the bricks in the plaster section? Okay, I guess it's like been to blend these like, together, but still. Plaster wall. That feels office-y to me. I actually already use this, I think, uh, in the in this map. I And I like to have a lot of variety with my plaster textures because there's such a nice variety of them in my opinion but I guess I could use this one actually that is that is gorgeous it kind of reminds me of bubblegum absolutely spectacular I'm gonna leave this exposed just because I don't feel it Wasting shit. Mm, so this will be. This is a kitchen, and it's a general room. This is the bathroom where, like, I did this on purpose. Don't worry. Actually, you probably should worry, but you would probably need to worry if that's a real house. This was a real house. Hmm. Huh. To start working on a uh, staircase. <laughs> I've been contemplating adding an underground. I don't really have the motivation at the moment. If I'm being completely honest, that's why I haven't really added an underground yet. Um, I hopefully add one soon. And by soon, I mean when, by the time the map comes out, and I don't plan on abandoning this one like some others. Um, is that, that is... Um, hold on. Make it go about that far. The rest of the steps will actually be only one. So, if you guys wonder why sometimes it gets kind of fucky wucky like this, it's actually because, uh, you'll try, th I think it, when you, like, have, sub like, ex when it comes to entities, and I think brushes sometimes, if you have selected or created one of those recently, you'll try to have the same scale. It can be very helpful if you're, like, having walls that are, like, the same size a lot of the time. Although it, although, like, it instantly, uh, I think the, part of the thing is it instantly, uh, goes to the size of entities, which includes his prop door rotating. Not good. Very ungood. That can act... I remember, uh, I think it was Grey Stuff V3. Uh, one of the sections that had, like, the section that had, like, the radio and, like, the, uh, the deep, the Dr. Breen voice in a deep tone. Oh, I think I fucked that up. Hold on. 
Um, yep, I did. I have no idea how that how I, that happened. So, uh, uh that actually, I think because I price placed on an entity or something like that, it actually, like, I had to, like, manually, like, put, make the brushes go, like, in a, in a normal way. Which is fucking annoying. Honestly. Also, anyone who doesn't clip stairs, I think, is a psychopath. You know what, I what it means by clipping stairs? It's when you uh, put an invisible ramp over the stairs you added. It's it is basic mapping etiquette. I'm if I'm being honest. I used to like mo before I used prop door. I used to not use prop door rotating. I used to not, but but then I went but because. And so I'd, and, uh, um, there are a few door textures that, um, that are, uh, for brushes. But I think the idea is, like, you put it on something so it's not, uh, um, I think, I have no idea what that actually is. I am deathly afraid of leaks or just shittily scaled shit. <sighs> I remember I used to, uh, I think I still kind of do, I used to love, uh, some wooden stair textures, uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, these ones, which that does not look that honestly does not look like a stair texture. It looks like a like a wooden tile. Although I, pure, I I'm currently using wood floor zero zero uh, uh wood slash wood floor zero zero eight A because I like I actually do like the way it looks, especially because those uh, wood floors weren't didn't really have planks. Um, also, guys, um. If, if never ever uh I don't know I was trying to say uh, the de I don't know the default brush scale when you like make a new start a new map is fucking abominable actually de actually deplorable um the wall I think the walls of the cathedral are that way but they shouldn't I just realized I think this is actually a bit smaller scale, but I'm perfectly fine with going a bit smaller scale. Jeez, this is taking a while. Part of the reason I'm doing is I saw, I was watching uh, that one video, uh, someone made, like, I think it was a Gmod, kind of a Gmod Machinima thingy. And it was like, uh, I live in, it's like that, I live in, li I live in a low income environment, like, illogian, but it's blah, 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 that type of stuff, and near the end, where it's like, uh, I'll be more than happy to release my address, but I must warn you, I'm a very dangerous person, I think that's what it said. It showed up. Uh, it showed and it, it took place in uh why do I have a stream chat open? What the fuck? I'm recording, not streaming. Why did I put an I? I it, uh, it showed uh White Force, whatever that that place in Half Life Two Episode Two was called. And I saw the chimney and like the way the houses were, I was like, damn, that's amazing. That's why I am uh, currently working on this. So I'm going to clip my stairs because I'm not a deranged psychopath. Shocking. I think that's pretty shocking. Alrighty. Hold on.
What kind of soul am I comparing Hammer to Hammer Plus Plus and like... Yeah, Hammer Plus Plus would probably be better, but... I think it's much... I think this is much more convenient for me. Um... No, I think it should be like at least... Here. Oh, let's rub an info player start. Not Indo player start. Um, yes. That's just a bit much, but I don't really care. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna remove these. Never mind, I won't remove these. Just looked a bit weird because of this. <sighs> um, how big are these? This is a uh, 128 hammer unit. Hold on. 112. Uh, 112, so these are 112 hammer units, that's good to know. Huh. Damn, that's convenient. Oh, this is also partially. Ins I just re remember this is partially inspired by. Uh, is, oh, I've been doing this house is partially inspired by uh, E1, E1 M1 from a uh, uh, Dusk's E1 M1. Okay, and what am I gonna use? What am I gonna do for the this texture plaster? Hmm. That looks. I mean, this is. I think it's actually decently calm because it's pretty bland. But I just realized the tops are cut off, but that doesn't. I don't. I don't give a shit. And honestly. Nope, that will not work in the slightest. Huh, I kind of want to do that look, but... What if I do this? I think I've done this before. For this type of build. Yes, and oh wait, and also I'm going to do this. So I can remove that. So let's see. Oh, nope, I meant to do that. Nope. Doesn't really work. I guess I'll do it. Okay. 
pocket that actually does work. Good. I think there's a texture. I think a oh, texture I really want to use is um. Where is it? Uh, this one. Honestly, not sure I should use for that. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to uh, quickly test this out. Actually, no, I'm going to add the lights first, so just give me, let me grab a prop static. linear like I always do. What type of open? Oh, um. So guys, what am I going to do for the lights here? Just do an actual. <laughs> Grab you. This is it right now. I'll add some more things in a bit. So I'm going to save. Appears I've sold an item on the community market. Um, 
I'm just gonna wait a bit. Let's go. Yeah, that yellow outline, you guys can't see it. Um, it seems to happen at least on Source games when I record with OBS. Good. That's good for now. I th that's good for um. It's decent, I guess. The building is much bigger now. Uh. Now. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, the outline seems to still be there for some reason. I don't know why. So what the fuck is it up with this? Cause I saw a little bit of Alright, I think it's just a bug. Uh hmm. That looks good.
Man. Is it for now? 